Welcome back everybody to week number six of our Buffalo Bills franchise and we are taking on the 4-1 Cincinnati Bengals. Probably our toughest matchup so far as we've actually had a few wins in a row these past few weeks and looking to keep our uh, season alive. Tyrod Taylor having an okay season but Andy Dalton having basically a perfect season here with 12 touchdowns, zero interceptions, and more yards than Taylor coming into this game. So we are now leading off a kickoff. The Bengals will receive the ball first at the 20. And of course, here comes Dalton, who's been perfect in these first few weeks. First handoff is to Jeremy Hill, who only gains about two. And now we can look at the Bengals' offense. And they, of course, have A.J. Green, Jeremy Hill, Tyler Eifert, Muhammad Sanu, and a few other targets. Dalton throwing on second down to Tyler Eifert. It's going to gain four there, and now it's already a third down. Dalton looking over the middle, finds Eifert again, picking up the first down and a few extra yards as well. Now a handoff to Jeremy Hill up the middle, and that's going to be about a six-yard gain, second down and four. Now it's Rex Burkhead on the carry for another gain of four, but a little bit short of the first down. Trying to get it here is Rex again. Strips two tackles. Fighting forward. Does he end up getting it? He does not. That is a fourth down. And the Bengals are going to punt the ball away. And here comes Tyrod Taylor and the Buffalo Bills for their first shot of the day with the ball. First play, Percy Harvin for 13 yards. Now LaShawn McCoy running up the middle, spinning and getting down after a nine-yard run. One yard to go for the first, throwing over the middle to Robert Woods, who picks that up for a gain of five. But now it's second down. Percy Harvin picking up the first down with that catch. And now LaShawn McCoy up the, up the middle for another gain of about eight. Second down and two. Now it's Carlos Williams on the pitch. He breaks one tackle, running towards end zone down at the 19 yard line Tyrod Taylor now throwing to Sammy Watkins no one on the right to catch him and that's going to be the first score of this game the Sammy Watkins touchdown bringing it to 7 to 0 here in the first 9 plays 80 yards and a perfect start for Tyrod Taylor 4 of 4 Andy Dalton now with the ball running right up the middle no linebackers to catch him and he's going to be down at the 39. First down, Jeremy Hill running up the middle for another 9-yard gain here. Actually, it was a 10-yard gain since they got the first. Jeremy Hill with another run here. And about 3 more yards. Third down and 7 for the Bengals. Picking it up is Tyler Eifert down at the 25. Now Jeremy Hill, quick pass. Gets him down to the 19 and inside the red zone. Second down and 3. Dalton handing off to Hill. Running to the right, picking up the first down in a six-yard gain. Now Rex Burkhead running. That's going to be a gain of three. Now it's going to be Burkhead again. Trying to fight for yards. Only a gain of two on that try. Dalton now throwing on third down and six. Chucking it for the end zone. Tyler Eifert did not look like he got both feet down. But they're going to call that it is a touchdown. And... He does end up tying the game 7-7 seven to seven. now, and Buffalo with the ball back. McCoy up the middle for 8, and now it's a third down and 3. Taylor throwing over the middle to Watkins, who reels it in, and now they're on the 32-yard line. Percy Harvin on this catch gets him to about the 45, looking to cross midfield here. Taylor gets the ball out at the very last second. Avoiding the big sack, and now it's a third down and eight, but they're not going to convert anyway. And they will punt the ball to the Bengals. And on that play, there's going to be an injury. Third down and eight for the Bengals. Trying for the sideline is A.J. Green. Taps his toes inbound. And a first down for him. Now the Bengals try again. There's a flag on the play, chucking it up for Buffalo Bills defenders there to swat that ball away and it kind of looks like it could be going either way 
it will be holding against the Bengals, knocking them back 10 yards. Dalton looking to throw, getting it off to Tyler Croft, who only gains about four there. So still second and long here. Jeremy Hill on the carry this time for a gain of about four, still a third and long. Dalton trying to go deep, plenty of time in the pocket, and he ends up being sacked. Just did not get the ball away. A deep punt by the Bengals, and now the Buffalo Bills are inside the 10. Now on the 10, now it's second down and two. Percy Harvin getting them out of their opposing red zone down to the 26. Tyrod Taylor running outside the pocket. Trying to get that ball off to Robert Woods. Looked like he was not going to be able to catch that, but he actually ended up coming down with it. But now throwing over the middle, Vontez Perfect just jumped that ball. And an interception in under two minutes. And now the defense is going to need to try to keep them out from scoring. Now it's second down and one. Dalton throwing to the side. Jeremy Hill's going to catch it. Run outside of bounds at the 26. Dalton throwing to the side now. Rex Burkhead on this play. Breaks a tackle. Could have got extra yards but ran it out of bounds. Second down and three. Tyler Eifert picks up the first down. Now they're on the 14-yard line. 42 seconds left. Jeremy Hill. Three more yards for him. Second down and seven. Under 40 seconds. Dalton trying to run outside the pocket. He fumbles the ball. Looks like a lineman picked it up there. But Mario Williams on that strip sack. And now trying for the end zone. Looks like he only got one foot down. And that's going to be a fourth down and nine. So they're going to settle for the three points. Not as bad as a touchdown would have been. The interception led to those three points. And now ten seconds left. We're just going to try one play. Sean McCoy almost just broke that ball away. But it's going to end up being 10 to 7 at the half going into it. So, you see why that catch did not look like he got both feet down, but I don't know. Buffalo now receiving the ball. That kick did not go that far. We're going to try to take it out and getting the same as a touchback here. Sean McCoy with first run of the half. It's a nine yard run to the outside. And now we're going to give it to him again up the middle. And he gains another nice gain of about six. Second down and six here to Harvin. Gains about four third, th uh, third down and short. Give it to Carlos Williams who is not able to pick it up that time. We're actually going to go for it on fourth down. Close to midfield. We're going to try it. This is a big game for us. So we end up uh, doing the QB sneak and getting the first down. And another, uh, obviously, s try at this ball. Tyra Taylor running outside the pocket, looking for someone open. He's going to take it for himself, pick up the first down. And now we are in Bengals territory. McCoy up the middle for five. Now another third down here. McCoy trying to pick it up. Bounces off one guy, but is end up tackled by the second. Pretty long field goal try here. We're going to try it with Dan Carpenter. He ends up getting it. That was a 50-yard field goal, actually. And that's going to tie up the game. Bengals now with the ball. It's already a second down and long high snap. Jeremy Hill gets it. About a gain of 12, or 12 there, yeah, about. Andy Dalton throwing to Hill now. And it looks like he got the first down on that one. Or, no, he did not. Fourth and inches after they measure it. Bengals are going to elect a kick. And now it's Buffalo ball again. McCoy up the middle for five. And now after another play, it's third down and seven. Picking it up is Charles Clay. Getting down to Buffalo 35-yard line. First down and ten. Taylor throwing to Percy Harvin. And he's been making those little curl route plays all day today. Now Charles Gregg on that catch. And that's going to end off the third quarter. So now the start of the fourth starts off with a LaShawn McCoy run of four. Second down and six. Taylor looking. He's going to lob it up. Vontez Perfect comes down with his second interception of the day. 
I thought if I would throw it over there that there would be no chance that anyone would pick it off, but he gets his feet inbound somehow. Second interception and second to Vontaze Perfect. And now the Bengals with the ball trying to take a lead here. That's going to be Marvin Jones on that catch. And that's going to get him all the way down to the 32. So they're already getting close to this Buffalo Bills territory. Jeremy Hill with that run gets him down to a third down and one Dalton over the middle. That's Brandon Tate. Gets him down to the 11. And almost in goal range here. Jeremy Hill on that run gets him down to the 5. Second down and 4. Rex Burkhead right up the middle. No one's going to stop him. And that is going to lead to a 17-10 ball game here. 4 minutes. Plenty of time for Buffalo to try to answer back. McCoy running up the middle for 4 to start off this drive. Second down and 7. Now trying for Watkins with that ball is grossly overthrown. And... That's going to be a third down and seven trying to screen here. The blocks are picked up. McCoy running to the outside. One more block, and that would have been a lot more yards, but still a uh, new set of downs anyway. Second down and ten. Taylor's going to try deep for Parsi Harvin. Not Parsi Harvin. Percy Harvin. The ball is knocked out of his hands, though. Third down and ten. And a curl route to Watkins picks us up. The new set of downs. Taylor over the middle. Robert Woods. Down now at the 32. So now it's first down again. Taylor lobbing this one up to Percy Harvin, who breaks free. If he wouldn't have stumbled, that would have been six, but I don't know. He stumbled a little bit. McCoy now running to the outside for six. And now second down and four, just a few yards away from the end zone. Taylor throwing it up to the end zone. Charles Clay getting both feet in down. Tyler Croft did it at the beginning with that little toe tap in the end zone. And now Charles Clay does it to tie up the game. And here comes Andy Dalton, Cincinnati Bengals. It's now the two-minute drill at the 20-yard line, trying to take this game away from going into overtime. They start off with a 12-yard gain. Now Dalton trying for the sideline. A.J. Green beat his man. And now they are down at the 24-yard line. Plenty of time left to try and score here. Buffalo takes a timeout. Try to refuel our defense. And now Jeremy Hill just makes an impressive run, breaking tackles, getting a gain of nine. Buffalo taking the timeouts. Because they can just run out this clock now and kick a field goal. So we're going to try to prevent that. Rex Burkhead up the middle for the first down. And we basically have to prevent a first down here or it's all over. We're actually out of timeouts. And if we can't stop their running, they can actually just kneel it. But they're going for it. And now they're taking timeouts. Kind of a dumb decision. But we stop Jeremy Hill on that one that's gonna be a fourth down and eight so their timeout was kind of dumb because that gives us 12 seconds but as of right now we have 10 seconds to score a field goal and it's all gonna pretty much come down to this kick if this stays in bounds and it, which it does we're gonna have very trouble first Harvin just needs to get down as quickly as possible if, uh, that's gonna be four seconds off the clock six seconds left last play Shot for Tyrod Taylor and not enough time. There was no way with his arm he was going to get that. We end up losing our second game of the season to the Cincinnati Bengals 20-17. to I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe for the new ones as they come out. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.